Okay, everybody. So if we review, we have uh, the scene one timeline. We have movie clips, two movie clips on the stage. It's actually the same movie clip, except this one's just been flipped. Okay? And inside these movie clips, they have their own timeline, and we have keyframe animation happening here, one frame at the time where he did drawing on each keyframe, then regular frames keep the last keyframe alive for a period of three or four seconds. And that's the pause on the eye. Okay, now what are we going to do? Well, I told you that we were going to have nested movie clips, so here goes. I'll go to scene one, back in scene one, and I'm going to delete both my eyes off the stage. So I select the eye and press delete, select the eye, press delete. Okay, notice my eye is still in my library. Okay, well now I'm going to make this fit in window, and I need to draw my head. And so what I'm going to do is on my scene one, um, timeline on this first keyframe, notice the empty keyframe, I'm going to draw my head. So I get my paintbrush, and I know that not everybody here is a fantastic artist and whatnot, that's okay. That's absolutely okay. I just draw my head here, and maybe I'll put some hair here, right? Hair, maybe an ear. Maybe I uh, need a nose, maybe a mouth. Okay, notice I'm leaving the eyes blank. Okay, so there's the hair. Just going to do some drawing, kind of a scribble drawing here for the hair. All right. Okay, now uh, maybe I'll make my ear a little bit better here. Okay, maybe make a neck. Okay, that's good. All right, so there's my uh, character, no eyes. And now I need to turn this head into a movie clip. So what I need to do is select it. Well, there's two ways to do that. I get my or many ways to do it. Selection tool, and I can click and drag a selection box. Or I can just click on this keyframe, and everything that's on the frame will be selected. And in this case, it's just the head. So I'll do that. I'll click on that keyframe. Everything gets selected. Modify, convert to symbol, movie clip. Remember, we're dealing with movie clips here. MC underscore head. Click OK. And now I've got a movie clip of this head. OK. Now, what I'll do is I'll double click on the head to go inside of the movie clip. Now I'm inside of head. And, of course, head has its own timeline. There's the the, the shape, right, the vector shapes. I'm going to make a new layer for my eyes. So what I'll do is click down here on this icon. That makes a new layer, right? If you're familiar with Photoshop, you can do things in layers, which um, keeps everything safe. Hopefully you've seen some movies about that. So layer two will be the eyes. I'll double click on the word layer two here. Eyes. There's nothing on there yet. Notice layer one. I can lock layer one so I don't use it by accident, and then make sure I'm on layer two, and I'll grab out the eye, drag it out to the stage, and it's too big, okay, this eye is too big, I make a cyclops, ta-da, which is not a bad idea, but anyway, it, this eye is too big, so I'm going to shrink it down, get my transform tool, hold down the shift key, and proportionally shrink it, okay, that's good. Right, deselect by clicking on my black arrow and drag it into position. And it's still a little too big. So what I'll do is transform tool and make it a little bit smaller. Hold down the shift key. Hopefully you grab it by the corner. That's too small. Hit it undo. see here. Okay, better. And I need a copy of this. So I'll select it with my black arrow, edit, copy, edit, paste in center. And now I have a copy of it. I have to click and drag it. Why didn't I just drag one out from the library? Well, because if I dragged one out from the library, it would be the wrong size. 
So I copied and pasted this one so they'd be the same size. I'll move this one into position. Take this one. I need to flip it. So I'll select it, modify, transform, flip horizontal. Drag that one into position. Okay. And of course, I probably need some. Well, that's kind of a strange looking dude. Okay. Uh, that's all right. It's just a test. I'm going to uh, unlock my bottom layer and select my bottom layer so I can draw on this bottom layer and get my paintbrush and draw eyebrows. Okay, and I'm pretty much done. Uh, so I can go back to scene one and get my move tool. Click on scene one to go back to scene one. Drag the head around. Notice inside the head there are two movie clips on this on all on the second layer. Notice they're on the second layer, and they have their own timeline with an animation inside of them. So back to scene one. And to publish your movie, hit pull down the control key and press enter. And you'll see that you have now a uh, movie clip, an animation with a movie clip inside of a movie clip or nested movie clips. And it's quite useful for making a blinking character. Now he's blinking, still blinking maybe a little too fast. If I wanted to change that, all I'd have to do is double click on the movie clip of the head. Then double click on the movie clip of the eye. Notice now my breadcrumbs. I'm no longer in scene one. I'm inside of MC head. And inside of MC head, I'm inside of movie clip eye, MC eye. And so now I'm nested three levels from scene one to the head to the eye. And I edit my movie clip here. I can drag over by using or scroll over and add some more frames by clicking and hitting F5. I can control enter to publish my movie and my character will blink and we're done. So you have to create your own character, own blinking character with nested movie clips. I hope you found this helpful.